Wednesday. Happy Glitter Pit Day. Happy Dawn Day. Happy to see you guys here in the early bird chat. We were hanging out. I was jumping back and forth from each screen. I had to multitask while I was over there today. But we're here. It's Wednesday. And we're going to have some stamping fun, right? So let's go ahead and do an early bird glitter spinner. Let's just start out the door with that. I have some brushed brass butterflies to give away today. Let me get my iPad. We're going to bring that over here. All right, let me flip this over here really quick. There we go. <laughs> I hit the button, but for some reason it didn't register that I clicked it. All right, so these are the butterflies. Aren't they pretty? These are my, like, favorite, one of my top favorite. Excuse me, one of my top favorite embellishments. Because just because they're flat, they don't really add a lot more weight. They're really awesome. All right, so in order to get into today's glitter, early bird glitter chat, you have to be here early or, of course, right on time. We haven't started yet. So leave a comment. That's how you're going to get entered. So I spin the comments and then we just randomly stop on somebody and then you win the prize. Super easy. The only thing that I request is that if you're brand new to the glitter pit, welcome to the pit. So glad you made it over. Finally, where have you been? Seriously. If you're brand new and you win anything, if you win the glitter giveaway, if you win the glitter spinner or the early bird glitter spinner, you have to reach out to me at this email address right here at the top. Dawn at the glitter pit .com. Email me there and give me your physical street address so I can mail you out the goodie. That's it. That's all you got to do. All right. So let's go ahead and spin. Super easy. I try to make it as easy as possible to win and to get your goodies, you know. Woo! I love all the comments. Thank you, guys. I love it. All right. Right here. Terry Gatton. Is, she, is Terry new? I think you're new. Aren't you new, Ter Terry, to the glitter pit? Let me put this back up here. Get this out of the way so I can write your name on here. Okay, so it is Terry. And she's in Texas. Yay. All right, so T-E-R-R-I-E -E and then G-A-T-T-O-N. Yay. Terry, email me here. Let me bring this up over here. Dawn at the glitter pit. Dot com. And you can sing the jingle. You're allowed, right? So it's Dawn, which is my name, Dawn, at the at sign, theglitterpit.com. And we just put it to a jingle so it's easy to remember. Dawn at theglitterpit.com. And then you type it as you're singing it. That's the idea, right? So you don't forget. So email me right now while you got a chance or after the live stream. The sooner the better. The sooner you can get me your address, the sooner I can get the gift out to you. All right, Terry? So congratulations, Terry. You got, you got the butterflies. Yay! Woo-hoo! All right, so Terry's going to get those. Remember, you got to email me your address. If I don't hear from you within a couple weeks, then I will pay it forward. Speaking of paying it forward, I have a stamp set over here that Kathy said to pay forward from last week's glitter giveaway this is the stamp set but it's not only a stamp set it is a bundle you get the dies too so kathy said to pay it forward so we're gonna do that at the end of the hour all right so stay tuned for that also we have two new well one carrying over host code remember this is open for 30 days this one is for a small gift towards the end of June, which is coming up. I'll be cashing this out probably next week. So when you use this host code with your order, under $150, you will get a small gift. And you don't have to use the host code. Just know that if you want the small gift, you will use the host code for your order under $150. Okay? And then if you want the card kit from today... You're going to use this weekly host code starting today, Wednesday, June 7th through Saturday, June 10th. Okay? And that's Saturday, June 10th at midnight Eastern time. That's when it gets cut off. 
So use this host code on your order of $35 or more starting today through Saturday, and you'll get the card kit. I didn't bring one over, but you'll get the card kit with all the consumables. Remember, the card kits do not include the stamp set, the dies, the coloring, the adhesive, the scissors, the bone folder, all that stuff, all the stamping tools you should have, right? What it will have in your kit is the consumables, the designer paper, and the accessories, if there are any, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then I usually send them out no later than Tuesday. Okay, so use that host code for the card kit. Use this one for a small gift towards the end of June. And those are active right now, so you can go ahead and start using them. All right, let's go ahead and start with the glitter giveaway. We had two winners from last week, and one has contacted me, one has not. So let's go ahead and give those announcements for the new or the um the glitter giveaway let me get my spinner so exciting all right so here we are this is this week's from last week's winners from the glitter giveaway we have vicky and glenda glenda has contacted me vicky you have not so please contact me vicky you know the jingle right dawn at the glitter pit Com. That's the email to contact me in any way, shape, or form. If you got a question, if you have um, any concerns, anything you want to talk to me about, you can email me there at that dawn at the glitter pit .com, all right? That is my email address for you to contact me. So, Vicki, email me as soon as possible with your address. I need your physical street address to mail out one of the stamp bundles from last week. And I think it was the Fragrant Flowers and the, what's the other one? Oh, Happier Than Happy. That's right. Yay! So congratulations, ladies. Yay! All right, so we will get those sent out to you as soon as possible. Let me go ahead and flip this back over. Hi, guys. So hopefully your Wednesdays are doing good. We're back on schedule from our trip to Norway a couple weeks ago. It feels really good to be home, but let me tell you, I was so jet lagged, more so coming home than what I was going. And I think Stampin' Up! kind of prepares us when we fly out, especially when we fly out of the country. I remember when we flew to Fiji and to Thailand, we did the red eye, and that was because we were sleeping most of the way. So, but when we flew to the UK, there's a six hour difference. And I don't know, we, me and Richard, we landed and we were like good to go. But then again, it was like towards the nighttime. We got there about nine o'clock at night. So it was like, we were ready to go to bed. We didn't, we tried not to sleep on the airplane to the flight over there to the UK, but um, coming home was, oh, it was hard. And I think it was, I think I clocked our flight, our flight time total from when we got bussed in from the cruise line to when I actually got into our house was, I think, 26 hours of, you know, flight time, drive time, fly time, drive time, you know, all that. So we were so exhausted. And then I was playing catch up on the emails. So many of you guys have cashed in your FSM tokens. Yay! You guys got double FSM tokens too while we were away. So you hopefully banked a lot of them. So, but many, many, many of you have cashed in your tokens. So I have been placing the orders for you guys. And I hopefully am caught up now as of this morning. So, and if you haven't heard an email back from me, then I must have misplaced your email or it went to my junk or drafts or something. So just know, just email me again if you want to cash in your tokens. If you have any questions about, ta um, sorry, if you have any questions about cashing in your tokens, it's really simple. All you have to do is just email me your full name and your address in the item you want. You get to pick a stamp set, a die collection, or a bundle of $50 value or less. And then email me what you want. And then, of course, I need your name so I know where to send it and your address. But then I also double check to make sure you do have the correct tokens that you're needing to cash in. Okay. So, but that's it. And then I do a correct a customer direct order to you from Stampin' Up. So your 
your free item that you're getting from yours truly is coming from Stampin' Up. So the sooner you get it in, the sooner I can order it. But I need all those details because if I don't get those details, I will be emailing you back. And instead of going back and forth, back and forth, just give me all those details. The item number, the name of the stamp set or die or collection. It's got to be under $50 or $50. And then I need your address so I can confirm that I have it correctly. Because nothing's worse than ordering a free stamp set and it's not delivered, right? Whew. So, have all those details in your email. For the most part, everybody does do that correctly. But sometimes it's a little back and forth. Some of you, I think I should know your address by now, but it's still to be safe than sorry. I just want to know what it is, all right? So, but that's all I ask of you is just to email me that information. So it's pretty simple. It's just makes my life a little bit easier when I go to place the order. So I don't have to look up everything. You know what I mean? All right, let's do the updates really quick. There are a few, and then I'll show you the new stamp sets that I got for next week's glitter giveaway. So the Paper Pumpkin is ending this Saturday for the June's Paper Pumpkin. So this is the item number if you want to just get the one June Paper Pumpkin kit. It's 137858, and it's for one month. But I think you still get the code, so you still got to activate it to get this month's code. And you have to do that before June 10th because the kits are mailed out June 11th, all right? So we have no idea what next month's kit is yet, but I'm excited. But I'm excited about this one still too. It's also coordinating with the Countryside Inn Sweet Collection, which you guys know, you can see this here. It coordinates with that. And then also there is a bonus where you can get a little die set. I think it is. Let me see my other, I don't have my other sample here or my other flyer, but it is a little die collection. I think it's $6 that you can add to your orders. But just know that you can only get that if you are already a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. So they don't sell it to outside the Paper Pumpkin subscribers. Okay? So if you just want to subscribe, you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin and get one delivered every month. You can do the three-month, the six-month, and the 12-month. All this information is listed on my website. And then also you can just purchase the one Paper Pumpkin kit and see if you like it. It's a lot of fun. You know why? Because it's a kit... That there's no thinking, no preparing. It's a kit that's already pre-designed and you just get to sit down and have an enjoyable time stamping and creating beautiful projects. That's what I love about Stampin' Up. It takes my brain out of the situation. Which sometimes when I'm always creating, I'm thinking, do I want to do this as a kit? Do I want to do this as a video? Do I want to do this as a thank you note? Do I want to do this for my thank you notes for my customers? You know, there's always that thinking process for me when I'm designing so paper pumpkin takes that out of it for me and sometimes it's nice just to create without thinking about it and worrying about it like where to score where to stamp you know what I mean okay so if you want to try paper pumpkin and of course you guys can reach me at dawn at the glitter pit.com if you have more questions about that all right brand new that launched I think it was today it's to, yeah, today's the 7th. I think it launched today. I have not even posted this on my website yet. This is the brand new card kit, kind of like Paper Pumpkin. But this one, we get to know what's in it. And it's an all-inclusive kit. These cards are gorgeous. Aren't they cute? So pretty with the beach theme. But the kit is called the Boho Beach Kit. The item number is 162418, and it's $22. Now, this is like Paper Pumpkin because it comes in a little Stampin' Up! box. You got enough of your consumables to make eight cards, and this is four cards each of two designs, which you can see here on the flyer. These are the two designs. So you're going to actually make four of these and four of those, and you get the coordinating envelopes, which are beautiful. And you get a stamp set, you get the stamp and spot, you get the, um, all the consumables to make your card and the accessories if there are any. The only thing you need is your scissors, your adhesive, and maybe your bone folder. That's pretty much it. Everything else is in the kit, just like Paper Pumpkin. Okay? So now these can only be found on my website at 
um, well, you can click over to my website, dawnstampingthoughts.net, which is right here. And then you go to shop, and the, or you can go right to paperpumpkin.com. All those links are on my website right there, dawnstampingthoughts.net. Okay, so the new kit is posted today. I believe I posted this in our newsletter too, so hopefully you got it. Really cute. And then, of course, the paper pump, or, sorry, not paper pumpkin. The designer paper is on sale 15% for the month of June. So make sure you're stocking up on your favorites. For those of you that did the paper share, you guys should know what your favorites are by now. I'm just saying. This is a great time to stock up on those favorites. There are, how many did we count out? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 packs of designer paper at 15% off. Plus, if you're a demonstrator like myself, You'll get your own discount from Stampin' Up! Because you, you guys know when we sign up to be a demonstrator, we are our own best customers. So we get a discount on our own purchases. So we get our discount plus the 15%. So that's definitely a win-win in my opinion. So, But for customers, it's great too. 15% is better than a sharp stick in the eye as my husband would say. <laughs> right? Okay, so the designer paper special, the 15% off, will end on June 30th. So, so far nothing is sold out, so that's good. Yay, the new, the new card class is number 33. Can you believe it? 33. We're using the Zoo, the Zoo Crew designer paper with the Zany Zoo bundle. And I had done two cards, I think, back in April when we were transitioning from the the mini catalog to the new annual catalog. So, and I had done two cards using the, the Zany Zoo, but this time we're doing a whole class on the Zany Zoo um, bundle. And the cards are all birthday themed. They're so very cute. And for any ages, really. You know, they're just really cute with the animals. So one card we're using the designer paper for the animals, and the other two cards we're going to actually stamp the alligator, and the raccoon and color them, okay? I'll show you those cards here in a second, all right? So I need that left out so I can get my measurements. All right, so let me show you this. So last week, where did I put it? Last week I gave you guys, did I bring them over here? Maybe I didn't bring them over here. I, I gave you guys the, the sticker sheets. Remember how we decided that these were all the languages? They are. They're all the languages. So for those of you that got it, use your tabs. And I did this catalog with my team to show you how nice it is. So you can see the tabs along the side of the catalog. So each tab is a section. So like this section is the host and join, right? So it's got that section. And then back here's got the hostess chart for your free dollars to spend. But it's nice because also in the annual catalog, you can see the pages are color coded. So you know pretty much where to put your tabs. So like this is the red one. So the red section starts here and it's all occasion. If you guys want me to do a video on this or even at the end of the live, I can show you like a page on how to do the tabs but I just went along the edge and I went I started with the red and then I went down and kind of offset it can you see it like that so it's a quick it's a quick reference really and then there's also a pink or a bubble gum or bubble bath I should say bubble bath tab to make like your own little tab so if there's like a section in the catalog that you want excuse me, that you always need to go to like the adhesives or the ink pads or the um, accessories or something like that. You know, something in particular that you want to just quick through, just go to right away. You can make your own little tab here and there's actually one, two, three, four tabs to do that, which is nice, you know? Okay, so I wanted to explain that because when I gave them away, we were all, well, I was confused, I should say. Sorry, I was a little confused. But now I'm totally cleared up on it. <laughs> Thanks for asking. All right. So here are my two stamp sets for next week's glitter giveaway. Yay. We have Speedy Recovery and Celebrating You. I think these are new. Yep, that one's new. I might have used this one once or twice. And then I think this one I used too. 
Yeah, I use this one. But I try to make them look like they're new, you know. I'm not deceiving anybody by letting you guys know that I did use them. These are from my personal stash that have been retired. Or I had extra, okay? So Celebrating You, which is a really nice um, little greeting stamp set. And then this one is for a speedy recovery, uh, speedy recovery for those of you that have been sick, right? So all you have to do is just leave a comment on my website starting tomorrow morning over on my website with the title of the blog post, Card Class Kit Number 33 with the Zany Zoo. I think that's the name of the blog post. Leave a comment on that blog post. You'll see the picture of these two stamp sets towards the middle of the blog post. So then you'll know you're in the right place. So just leave a comment on that blog post and then you'll, you might hear your name drawn next week. But I will say that whoever is, their name is drawn, you will be contacted by me by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week to let you know if I need your address or let you know that you won. So you can be expecting them. All right. I think that's it. Do you guys have any questions? Anyone would be lucky to win those. Aw, thank you. Let me get that off there. Thank you, Nicole. All right, let me just go through these comments really quick and see what's everybody. Oh, so last week we did an extra bonus video. I'm caught. You know what? You guys got to help me pick a name for my Friday video now because you guys know I have done a lot of videos over the years. I felt like the last nine or so years we've been kind of focusing on the lives. So I'm kind of branching back into the little quick videos, which they're not really that quick. They're about 30 minutes or so. I'm trying to make them quicker, but 30 minutes is better than two hours, right? And it's more focused on the card or the project. But my first one was posted this past Friday. So this Friday, which is like in two days, I have another card for you guys. Do you want a sneak peek of it? It's so cute. All right, so I'll give you guys a sneak peek of it, but you guys got a pinky promise you'll join me over there on Friday at noon. So we're kind of focusing around lunchtime, your break time, or whatever. And Friday has always been a fun day, Friday fun day. So at least that's what my husband always says when he's going off to work on Friday. He says, have a good Friday. It's Friday fun day. And I'm like, yeah, it's Friday fun day. So maybe if we can get a name like Friday fun day, fun day Friday, whatever. I mean, I'm open to suggestions for what we want to call it. But it's Fridays at noon Eastern. All right. And I will give you two disclaimers. We're going to be making one project. I mean, if it's two projects, it's usually about the same idea like last week we made a mechanism so I showed you how to do it vertical and horizontal but typically it's going to be a card or a box a treat bag a technique a tip or like the catalog I could do a a video on the catalog doing the tabs or whatever but typically it's just one project and it won't be every Friday I'm going to emphasize that because especially with summer coming up and I do have other I guess irons in the fire. I'm, you know, participating in other things in my business. So if I have time, I will try to post a video on Friday. So you guys will always know when there's a bonus video on Friday. I'll either post it on my website at the last minute if I decide to do a video. Or I will let you guys know in the Wednesday's newsletter when I send it out for going live here today, like Wednesday. So like this week, I do know I'm having a video and we're going to be making this card on Friday. Oh, wait, let me take this off here. <laughs> we're using the Hey Chuck. Don't you love the stamp set? Cracks me up. So we're making that card on Friday. So come on over. Hang out with me. I'll be in the chat chatting with you guys. We have a good time. I won't keep you all day, but it's consider it like a lunch break. Grab your lunch and just hang out, eat, comment, hang out with me and everybody else, all right? It's great. Plus, it's another idea, right? So far, I think everybody likes it. Just let me know. I like to hear your guys' feedback. Fun day Friday. That's a good one. I like it, Deborah. All right. But like I said, oh, and then another... Um, 
not a stipulation, but another uh, disclosure. I, there might not be always a PDF slash printable with Friday's video. Like last week, it was pretty much two pieces of cardstock. So you guys can rewind the video and you guys can always watch it at a later date. But um, sometimes there won't be a printable or a PDF. I mean, sometimes it's just like a matter of just getting the video filmed and then we're good, right? So it's just um, don't, don't count on having a printable every week. I do have a printable for you this Friday, but like I said, it might not happen like that every week, all right? I will try, but sometimes things are out of my hands. I run out of time, all right? All right. Funky Friday. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Flashback Friday. Now that's a... That's a really good idea, Nancy, because that's really where I'm going to be stemming a lot of my projects from. Because, like I said, I have been doing videos since 2007, 2008. So there are a lot. I'm talking like probably close to 1,700 videos on my YouTube channel. You guys got to go way, way, way in the back. And just because the videos are older and maybe they're not as like up to date like we're doing today... There's still a really great project idea. You just got to use current stuff. So maybe that's what I can do too is like make something old new again, right? Bring it back, make it new, maybe update it even better. I don't know, but that's a really great idea. So I do like that flashback Friday. Let me write that down. I do like that, Nancy. I like funky Friday. Keep them coming, guys. Funky, funky. I like that. Uh, funky Town. I used to roller skate to that song. Won't you take me to Funky Town? All right. Um, funky Friday. Flashback Friday. I love it. Flashback Friday. And we we all like the Fun Day Friday or Friday Fun Day, right? Yeah, I like that one. That's when I kind of been tossing around back and forth the last couple of weeks because I really didn't know what to call it. It's just fun, and it's Friday, and it's like, you know, the weekend's getting started, right? Okay, so let me know some more ideas. If I miss your your awesome suggestion, I'll go back and look at the comments. Also, you can email them, too. You guys know. Email me here. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to stamp? I'm back from break. I'm back from work. So excited to watch. Yay, Margaret! So happy you're here too. Oh, Chris likes Funky Friday too. Fantastic Fun Friday. Wow, that's a lot of Fs. <laughs> I love the boxer shorts on the chicken. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, yeah, that one. I colored in the pink shorts. Did you see that really close? Look. <laughs> this rooster seriously has got a sarcastic attitude and I love it. That is just right up my alley. I love it. He's just like a little ornery, maybe a little sarcastic. I like it. He's just very um, opinionated, opinionated with his facial expressions. Like this one looks like, just don't even go there. With the eyeballs, look at the eyeballs. Like, don't even go there. So that one I thought he could pull off the, you know, the pink shorts with the blue polka dots. Yeah. Such a cute card. So, that's Friday. Come back Friday. It's right on YouTube. I will also have the blog post with the PDF and the replay of the video and, of course, the photos. And the photos that inspired that card that I got from two of my Glitter Queens team. Sharon and Rebecca, they sent me that kind of card. So they inspired me to make the card. So we can thank them for that. All right. Ah, uh, Fabulous Rollback Friday. Wow, Ramona, that sounds good too. You guys are so good. I should have asked you guys this last week because I knew you guys would have it together. You guys are awesome. You know who else is really awesome with catchy phrases like that is Jessie, my Jessie. She's really good at that kind of stuff. All right, let me show you the cards. This is card number one. Adorable. I showed Richard these cards because, you know, I got to get his approval because he's cutting everything out. 
But he said, wow, this card is beautiful. And I think it's just because it's soft and it's pink, right? But this is the birthday card number one. This is birthday card number two. And you guys can decorate the inside, which is what I did. So you'll have enough to stamp your two images. I cased all these cards too off of Pinterest. I couldn't tell you who they were from. I just really liked them. And they're really simple and really sweet cards. Okay, so card number two. And then card number three is a fun fold. Using the cute little alligator. Did you see how I added the shadow here? Like he's really puddling along. Look at this. This image totally cracks me up because look at his feet on the bike. Like he's wee. <laughs> Doesn't it look like he's having a good time riding his bicycle? Bicycle, bicycle. Queen's bicycle. Yeah, I like that song too. All right. Let's start with card number one. Card number one. Let me show you what you're going to get in your kit. I did do all the die cutting, all the embossing ahead of time, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did, all right? So let me get your pieces that you're going to get in your kit. Do, do, do. Oh, I did cut out all the animals. Now this paper is adorable because each of the activities, let's say the activities, there's like um, meditating, camping, dancing, um, uh, musical, right? So if you look at the um, Zoo Crew designer paper, there's two sheets of all these designs with these animals. So we're using the dancing animals. So there's a hippo, a little, I want to say this is like a ferret or maybe it's a muskrat. I don't know. It's, I don't think this is a squirrel, but it's really cute. So I cut her out. And then also there's a deer, which is a ballerina deer. These are all like ballerinas. A ballerina deer and a tiger. Okay. And a little sheep. They're all so cute and they're really easy to cut out. So in your kit, you're going to get three animals and they could be different from the ones you're going to see me demonstrate today. So you're just going to have to maneuver them on your card, however you can get them on there. And you can also use a stamp set if you want to cut out the, the raccoon or the alligator. I mean, I don't know how you'd add the alligator to the stage, but you can definitely add the raccoon because let me show you the stamp set. Uh, actually, let me show you the stamp set and the die. Because you can cut the raccoon right here and just cut the balloons off. And you can put him on your stage. Or if you didn't get the tiger, you can cut stamp and cut out the tiger too. You know? Okay? So, but I'm going to have three animals in your kit. And then this is the coordinating die, Zany Zoo die, that you're going to need to cut the stage. The curtains and the banner. And the tie backs. And the flowers. Yeah, you're going to need this die. Okay? All right, so let's give you the measurements of the card. You're going to use the thick basic white. And this is cut at 5.5 by 8.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. This is for the base. Then you're going to have a piece of bubble, bubble bath. I want to say bubble gum, but it's bubble bath. Right? Yeah, bubble bath. I always want to say bubble gum, but bubble bath. This piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then you're going to get a piece of basic white, which is going to be embossed with your basic embossing folders. You're going to get three. You, you don't get three of them, but you when you purchase these, and I don't know if they're still available, if they're still on back order, but in the basics embossing folders, these are the 3D embossing folders that are available on the online exclusives. We're going to emboss the polka dot one for you. So this is going to be done for you with the polka dots. And when you get it, you're going to love the polka dots. They're so amazing. But when you purchase either one of these, you're going to get all three in the kit. And these are available only online. But like I said, they might be on back order. Okay, so this piece of basic white that's embossed will be cut at three and three quarter by five. That's going to layer onto your bubble bath. Then your basic white piece for the stage is cut at three by 
four and a half. And then this is where you're going to have to cut out your circle or whatever shape you want to add to your stage. Like here on my card, let me show you. I stamped the happy birthday to you and I used the little tiny circle from the Stylish Shapes, which is from this die collection right here. And it's this circle, the second from the smallest. Okay? So that one fits perfectly on that happy birthday to you. But you can use any shape that you want. You can even use an oval if you want. Or you can use one of these or whatever. Or this one, you know? So it's totally up to you. But when you get your black piece here, which is cut at three and an eighth by four and an eighth, this is layering behind this basic white piece for the stage. Okay? So when you're cutting your black pieces out, Make sure you're keeping it where the white covers it. You know what I mean? You can kind of see it show through the light. Can you see it? <laughs> but nobody's going to see it once you cover it up. So instead of wasting this, you're going to cut it out. You're going to cut your two tie backs of the curtains there, which is this die right here. It's so little. You probably don't even know what it is. It's this one right here, right there. It's got two little tie backs right there. Okay. So cut that out with the basic black and then also your greeting, which is from the Zany Zoo stamp set, which is happy birthday to you. And so I stamped it with the verse mark and then I heat set it with the embossing powder, which is right here. The white embossing powder. I can show you how to do that if you want. But you're going to do that on this piece of basic black. And then this is going to get covered up for the stage. Okay. And then you'll have a piece of bubble bath. This is scrap. And this is cut at four by four and a half, I believe. Because you want to cut it on, it says four and a quarter. That's not right. It should be four by four and a half. And I cut them out yesterday. So I know that they're four and a half. Because... You're going to cut your stage off the top on the long side right here with the scallop die, which is also in the die collection right here. You're just going to line this up on the top of the long side right here, and you're going to cut your scallop right here. So then this is going to get cut off. So this you're going to keep, and then you're going to cut two of your curtains out with the die that's in this collection too right here going to cut two of these out with the bubble bath okay so I've already got those already cut out and those are right here okay so this is your scrap piece that you're going to get in your kit and then you'll get your three animals it's just like the fish remember last week's with the fish where I had the like physically hand cut out the fish because if I cut the animals like in quarters or let's say three by four, excuse me, three by four, it's going to cut some of the animals off. And I wanted to use all the animals that I could because there's, you know, just a limited amount of each of the animals. So once I build the card, I'll show you like different layouts for these animals, whatever animals you get for your card. All right. So let's go ahead and build our card. We're going to put our curtains on our basic white piece first. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer this piece right along the top. Even if you cut it on the short side at, say, four inches. Let me see here. So let's say it's four inches. Your curtain should still cover it up because these are like almost seven-eighths wide. What I'm seeing is like if you cut it on this side over here, if you cut it on the four, or let's say I cut it at four and a quarter, you should still be okay for the stage, okay? So then the curtains are going to go over here to each of the sides. Isn't that cute? It looks so real, like a real stage, you know? I'm getting my dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to put dimensionals on our curtains. And then you're just going to butt this up at the top of the curtain and along the side. So you have this whole stage here to put your animals. And the curtain can go left and right. It's universal, however you want to put it. 
it cuts both ways. Okay, so there's my stage. Hope I didn't go over too much. All right, and then this piece, remember, this is going to go over top of this. Actually, I got to scoot this over a little bit. Hold on a minute. I got to move it over a little bit. It's, it's hanging off of there. There we go. Okay. Because this is just going to give you a little bitty black border around that stage. And it's still probably too much. Hold on. I went over too much. There we go. Hopefully that's good. All right. I'm going to put this onto the black. See how that covers it up? Okay. All right. Now we're going to put this on two dimensionals and we're going to put this onto the polka dotted layer with the embossed section. But before I put it on there, I'm going to put my pieces together. So now what I like to do is I put the adhesive on the bubble bath piece and then this piece won't get squished because when I'm putting, well, maybe it won't. Let me try it. If I put adhesive on the embossed section, oh no, it didn't flatten it. That's good. Okay, so either way, this is going to go on to the bubble bath right here. And then this is going to go on to the base card. Onto the thick basic white okay and then this is going to go on to the center of our card so cute making sure the card is opening right right and then we're going to pop our happy birthday to you i'll show you how i emboss with the the third card because we're using the black card stock again okay so that's that now it's just a matter of putting our curtain tails on which is right over here. Hold on a second. Let me get my curtain tails out. I put everything in a container so I wouldn't lose it. You know how that goes. All right. So we're going to take our liquid glue. And we're just going to add a little bit of glue on the curtain, like where it's gathered at, right here. On the sides. Little tiny bit. Can you see how little bit of a glue I used here? Little bit, right there and right there. Okay, and then take your take your pick tool. Use your putty end. Grab your curtain. What are these called? I think this is the back side. Yes, yeah, so I want to use this side here. So you're just gonna put them onto the curtains. Isn't that cute? Really brings it to detail on that curtain right there. I love it. It's all about the details, right? That's what my mom would say. All right, so I'm going to put this one over here. Okay, there. Ta-da! Now the stage is set, right? Now we got to decide whatever animals you get, or you can stamp them. I definitely want the... The littlest of the animals. Let's see if I can put the tiger over here and the sheep. And then maybe the hippo in the center. Right? Yeah, that would work. See? And then let's try the deer. The deer is probably bigger than the hippo. Well, the foot is going to be in the lamb. Here, let me maybe try the little muskrat thing here. Yeah, that works too. Right, let's put the sheep over here, maybe. Aw, oh, look. It's adorable. Then you can use the hippo here. Right, so the hippo and the and the um, deer are the largest. But you can definitely fit them all in there. Okay? So let's do this scene right here. With the hippo in the center. Just putting dimensionals on the back of her. Put her in the center, and then this little muskrat or um, 
what did I say? A little ferret, maybe? I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to go over here. And then we'll do the tiger, right? Oh, no, the sheep. Well, the tiger would fit, too, look. Cute. And you can swap them around. Oh, I think I'm going to do the tiger. Because I've already put my hippo down, and she's kind of like, taking up a lot of room in the center. So I'll put my tiger. Just position your animals before you actually seal them down. You know what I mean? So you know that they fit there. Look how cute. And then since this one's smaller over here, I'm going to put the happy birthday on this side to kind of balance the height between these two to her. So it's more like uniform maybe. Okay, and then since a lot of the images aren't colored, you can take your bubble bath marker and I'm going to color in the tiger's little tutu here with the light bubble bath Stampin' Blends. Okay, and then I'll color in the little ferret or the muskrat's flower on her little tutu. It's already colored in with the designer paper. Let me take the green and dot the centers of the flowers. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. It's a little sweet birthday card. I love it. And then here's the other one. Cute. Okay, so there's card number one. So, remember, you'll get different animals, but they'll all work. You just got to finagle around. Or you can stamp the images, too, when you get the stamp set, all right? All right, so card number two. And what I'm calling this card is it looks like it's washi tape, but it's actually the Zany Crew with the Zoo Crew designer paper because the one side has got all the animals on one side, let me show you. So you're going to get five strips of this designer paper, and they're all cut at four inches by one inch. So you can see, like, on one side, they're all black and white, which is the side we're going to use with this Tahitian Tide. Okay? Then on the other side are all the patterns. Like, you have the meditating, the musical, the celebration. What is this one? Oh, um... Is this a musical one or is that the, I don't remember what that paper is. And then this is the ballerina side. Okay, so you're going to use the black and white side. Okay, so you're going to get five pieces of the designer paper and they're all different. So five of them cut at one inch by four because four, you're putting it on your basic white piece, which is cut at three and three quarter by five. Well, this is a little bit too big. Let me cut this down. This is cut at three and three quarter by five. Yeah. Okay. So you're not your paper is not going to be bigger than three and three quarter because you're going to stagger it. You're going to go short and then get longer and then all of a sudden shorter, just like washi tape. Okay. So you're going to have two pieces of basic white cut at three and three quarter by five. One's for the front, one's for the inside. Then your basic black is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then your Tahitian Tied is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. That's going to make your base card. Isn't that pretty, turquoise? Do you remember Tempting Turquoise from the color we had years ago? Yeah, it was a very pretty turquoise, but this one is m very similar, I think, but it's much more turquoisey. <laughs> is that even a word? All right, so four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. All right, so now let me show you how I am bought. Oh, and then you're going to have your scrap piece of basic white here. These should be on the outside of your card inside the envelopes. So you're going to have a piece of basic white to stamp your raccoon and your tiger if you want. And those are from the stamp set. And then you're going to have another piece of scrap for your die cutting of your two flowers. And I cut out four of each. So a total of eight flowers. Four on the front and then two on the inside. 
and that's totally optional. You don't even have to add the flowers, but if you want to make it like I did, that's what I did, okay? So let me show you here, since this is a fairly large piece, remember we're going to cover this up with your basic white again. So there's a lot of black here that you can use, you know, so you don't waste it. So let me show you how I embossed it. Let me get my Versamark ink. And then I'm going to get my embossing buddy. Let me get all my stamps off of here. This is the accessory embossing kit or additions kit. I forget what it's called. Let me see what it, what did I call it? Um, the embossing additions toolkit. I guess I was right, but it was just the way it was worded. So this is your little tray. You'll get this and you'll get your reverse tweezers, which are awesome. You'll get a little paintbrush to flip off the extra little embossing powder. And then you also get your embossing buddy, which prevents static. Okay, so we're going to use that on our basic black. Now remember, when you get yours, you're going to just cut your first one. I have enough space, so I'm going to cut out another one just to show you how to do it. Well, at least emboss it to show you what I did. All right, and then we're going to stamp... This is the greeting we're going to stamp. Something great to celebrate, and it's you. That's the greeting from the stamp set. Okay, so we're going to stamp this. I'm going to stamp it down here. So do your embossing, buddy, to prevent static. Then you're going to stamp it with the Versamark, which is a water-based, um, like a clear ink. You can't probably see it, but then you're going to take your white embossing powder. We do sell the white embossing powder, but it's in a kit, which includes black and clear, I think. We used to sell the powder individually, but now we sell it in a set of three. So this is where the paintbrush would be nice to flip that off right here. Okay. So now you can see where it's embossed. Something great to celebrate. You. Then make sure you close your embossing powder before you turn your heat tool on. Because it's going to blow everywhere. Ask me how I know that. Because <laughs> I did it. Alright, so this is our heat tool. This is what we're going to heat set that powder, the white powder with. It's going to make it like embossed, which is like raised. And it's going to make it glossy. Because right now it's just powder. That's all that is. It's just powder on the ink. So with the heat put onto the powder, it's going to melt it. And then it's going to give it like a raised, kind of like a Hallmark card. If you guys know what I'm talking about. It makes it really fancy. So I'm going to warm this up. It gets super, super hot. This is where those tweezers come in handy. Especially when you're holding like a small piece. But this is a fairly large piece, so I think I'm good. But you can use the tweezers. And then heat set that white powder. You can see it changing. Can you see it changing? Now don't overheat it because you could burn that too. I mean, it will make it like a, not so white. It would make it like gray. And then just know too that when you're heat setting, you don't want to keep moving the, the gun or the tool. Just hold it in place and just move it across when it's turning. Okay? Because moving it around doesn't do anything good. I mean, it's just moving it around. Okay? All right. And then you're going to take your stylish shapes or any die collection that you have, whatever you want to use. And I'm just going to use this one here from the stylus shapes and cut that out. Okay? So run that through the die cut machine. And then you're going to cut it out and it's going to look like that. Okay? So that's how you're going to do that. And then we're actually going to cut that down too a little bit more. Oh, don't lose my tweezers. Those are awesome tweezers. All right, let me put my first mark back. All right, so I'm going to use my card for my sample. Where did I put my card? Because I need to know how to stagger these. this washi tape paper is what I'm calling it. 
So we're gonna take our first piece of basic white. Remember, you're gonna have one for the front and one for the inside. So the first piece of designer paper, these are all cut the same. So the first one we're gonna use is like the hashtag and we're gonna cut this or tear it, better yet, just tear it towards you. And you're gonna cut, you're gonna tear it to about two inches or so. It's not precise. That's the idea that it's handmade. It doesn't need to be perfect. So just tear it to about two inches or two and a half. And you're gonna put this right on the edge of your basic white, just like that, okay? Then the next one, you're gonna tear a little bit longer. See how these are too long? But I wanted to give you enough space. Like you really probably could make two cards from these scraps if you wanted. So we're gonna tear this one a little bit longer than the last one and we're gonna attach that underneath that first one a little bit. So it's gonna make it look like it's not quite an inch wide. It's gonna give the illusion that it's almost like three fourths inches wide. Okay, so then you're just gonna tuck that one underneath there, okay? And then your next one is your polka dots. And again, this one is gonna be tore a little bit longer and then put that one on. This one's gonna go right on top of that black one. So you're getting gradually longer as you go down. And then this one is gonna get tucked up underneath that polka dotted one. And again, it's gonna be a little bit longer than that polka dotted one. Maybe you won't get two cards out of this now that I think about it. Because the longer you, the more you go down, the longer the strip gets. This is going to get put up underneath the polka dot. Like that. So the idea is that you want white, black, white, black, and then white is going to be your flowered one. And that one's going to be a short one like the top one. So just tear that one. Because that's where your greeting is going to go down here at the bottom. So... We'll just tuck this one under here too, underneath that last list or that last strip. So it's definitely going to be the short, short size again on this bottom piece right here. Okay, that's it. Doesn't that look like washi tape? It's the washi tape designer paper card, <laughs> right? All right, then if you do have anything left over, as far as hanging over, just flip your card and just take your scissors and just run it down the side of the card. Because this is already cut for you at three and three quarter by five. So then it's matched up perfectly right there. Okay? So that's the paper. Let me show you that up close. There you go. Okay? All right. Now we're going to take our smaller scrap piece. We're going to stamp our raccoon and our tiger with the memento ink I'm gonna stamp both of them on this scrap piece okay and of course you can color them beforehand and then cut them out or you can cut them out and then color them I'm just going to go ahead and color them so I can show you how I did that because I've already cut them out. So we'll just save time and I'll just show you how I colored them. So since the card is all about the Tahitian Tide, I'm using the Tahitian Tide Stampin' Blends along with the Basic Black for the Raccoon and then the Smoky Slate. Is this? Yeah, Smoky Slate Light. And then I think I colored in, let me see what I colored in the flower. Did I even color? Oh, I didn't. Okay, so the skirt and everything's for the tiger is in Tahitian Tide too. So I took the Tahitian Tide Dark. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Tahitian Tide Dark. And I'm going to color in two of the balloons. There's a total of four. So two balloons with the dark. And 
And I'm going to color in her skirt or her tutu. Color in her skirt with the dark. Then take the light. Hold on, I gotta hit my marker. There we go. Color in the light balloons. And then the flower and her waistband here. And then her ballet shoes. Okay. And then to color in the raccoon, I just took the black and the dark. I want to use the bullet tip because I'm going to color around his face. Around his eyes. Color in his nose. And then his belly. And I'm going to take the lines on its tail and just make the line, the slashes. And then smoky slate to color the rest of the raccoon in. Oh, and then I took the bubble bath and I colored in the ears with the raccoon a little bit. And then I gave her maybe some cheeks. <laughs> Why not? There we go. Okay. I don't think I did that with the one I finished before, did I? No, I didn't. Let me color in her cheeks on this one. There. Okay. So then these two have dies in this die collection. So you can cut those out really nice. You can see them. Okay. So that's all I colored with those. Just to kind of tie that whole Tahitian tied in with the card. Okay. So then we're going to stamp. This is the piece of basic white for the inside of the card. And we're going to stamp happy birthday. So the front is going to say something great to celebrate. And we're going to stamp on the inside, happy birthday to you, right in the center. And then I'm going to also put the musical notes, which is also in this stamp set. Because it's just, oh wait, i got to zoom back out. Sorry, guys. The musical notes make it sound like you're singing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Right? It just makes it cuter, I think. And then what I did for her is I put her on the inside. Now you can flip it around if you want. You want to put the balloons on the inside? You can definitely do that too. I'm going to put her on the inside. And I'm going to put the raccoon on the front. Okay, so I'm going to put dimensionals on them. On the little critters. I'm going to put her, maybe put her down here this time. And then this is going to go on the inside of the card. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> all right. I think that's all the stamping, right? We can close that up for right now. All right. And then we're just going to decorate the front. So we're going to put our raccoon on dimensionals as well. I'm going to put him kind of in the center to the right over top of the washi tape or the washi cardstock designer paper, whatever. And then we're going to take our greeting here. Remember, we cut that out with the banner with the stylus shapes. But I'm going to take my paper snips. I'm just going to snip that off 
at the end. And we're going to put dimensionals on that. And that's going to go at the bottom where that short piece of washi tape is, designer paper, down here. Okay, and then it's just a matter of filling in, you know, randomly with the, the flowers. Now, the flowers are in your die collection. Let me show you where these are because they're kind of little. There's a large one and a small one. And you're going to cut four of those and four of the small ones with the scrap of your Tahitian Tide. And I'm going to pop these all up on dimensionals. I think I might have cut out extra, but let me get my mini dimensionals. There are my mini dimensionals are there. Okay, so mini dimensionals. And what's also in your kit is the rhinestones. You'll have, I think you'll have eight or no, six rhinestones. Oh no, how many did I cut out? No, you're going to cut out six of your flowers. Three large, three small. But there's enough to cut out extra. But I think you're getting six rhinestones in your kit and those will be tucked up in your card so be careful when you pull your card out of the envelope your rhinestones are in there with your strips of paper okay so i'm going to put two large on the front and two small on the front put one right here doesn't the blue flowers add to it it just kind of brings it all together I think the one I seen used like Melon Mabo or something. It was cute. And then put one right here. All right. And then let me get my rhinestones. I just have some rhinestones over here, I think. Mm, one moment. Oh, yeah, I do. Good. Because I didn't cut me a strip of them off. But you'll have a long strip of six rhinestones. So you're going to. What's nice is when you use the dimensional on the back of the flowers. This center is, there's nothing there. So the dimensional is actually showing through. So it will grab your rhinestone really nice. So just put it into that dimensional center. You know what I mean? And you're going to get six of the small rhinestones. So they should fit inside that circle. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? And then we're going to add the other two flowers to the inside. Because she needs flowers too. Right? So we're going to put two little flowers. Oh, I have one extra. So I did cut enough. At least that's good. But the mini dimensionals work perfect with these flowers. And then maybe put one up here. Doesn't matter where you put them. They're cute. Just ties the front to the inside to the front. You know? So cute. And a little bling bling. Right? Oh, wait. we got to put it on the front. Oh, wait. we got to put this on the black piece too. Okay. So this is going to go on the black piece of the black cardstock. Remember that we embossed that piece where we die cut that out. And then this is going to go over top of that so nobody's going to see it. Plus the black and the Tahitian Tide is like really striking. Really not. Oh wait, let's do dimensionals. I didn't do dimensionals on the first one. So you can see what you want to do when you make it. Let me get more dimensionals. I know I got sides here, but I don't want to take the time to cut them. I'll save them for later. Okay, so one, my first one, I didn't use dimensionals for this piece. This one I did, so I'll show you the difference. And you just do what you want to do. You do you, right? So cute. Adorable. I love it. Okay, so here's the one without dimensionals. They're the exact same, but one's a little... Oh, wait! This one's popped up too. I'm sorry. Rewind. This one is popped up on dimensionals. <laughs> I didn't think it was, by the way. It was looking there. All right. So, yes. Pop them up. The only thing I did do different with this is I didn't cut the paper um, big enough on the edge. I went a little bit bigger with this piece, which was the four. 
I don't know what I cut it. I think this was four by five and a quarter. And then I cut this at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So I like this black border much better. It just grabs the black. So this is what will be in your kit, okay? But they look the same, right? Don't you think the black border thicker is better? All right, so card number two, that's your birthday card for card number two. Card number three is the alligator. Get those pieces here. What a mess I got going on. All right, card number three. Let me take a drink. Yes, Jenny, I think so too. I love anything with black. The Even the lemon lolly was really pretty with it. I was debating on that one too, but... Yeah, anything with black is just like, whoo, grabs your attention so good. I love it. Thank you, Kathy. All right, so let's do card number two, or card number three. This is a pretty easy one, but it is a fun fold. It's the fun fold card. It's number three for a reason, but it is pretty simple. We're using the lemon lime twist. Now, when you guys get this color, you're going to think it looks a lot like Parakeet Party, but it is more chartreuse green with the Lemon Lolly than the Parakeet Party. Believe it or not, I put them up next to each other. This one is more like bright. I mean, Parakeet Party is bright, but I don't know. All right, so this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, and your piece should be scored. But I'm going to score mine to show you how to score it if you want to make this card without the kit. So you're going to score this on the eight and a half inch side at two and one eighth and four and a quarter. So that's right in half. Okay. Whoops. My blade just fell out. Okay. So your lemon lime twist is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and you're going to score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter and this will be done for your kit when you get it so all you have to do is remember take your bone folder and reinforce those score lines so this is going to make your z fold part of your card okay and then you're going to have another piece of lemon lime twist which is cut at four by four and a half and this piece should be scored at four inches. So your finished square should be four by four. And then this half inch piece is going to get adhesive. So we're going to put some stamp and seal on the edge of that. Okay. This is going to make your flap of your card. So put your adhesive on the half inch score line over here. And you're just going to line this up. To this edge over here on this card in the center right on that half inch score line so this is the flap that's going to fold over like this okay and then we wait that didn't go to the edge very good hold on good thing i didn't reinforce it let me put some more adhesive on there all right okay so we're going to put our edge of the score line Right on the edge of that card. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now you can reinforce that fold line. Because see, this is the flap card. Just like that. Okay? Then you're going to take your two pieces of your designer paper. This piece... Oh wait, i got to flip my PDF over. And all these measurements. This piece, these are the, it's the same paper. See how I was saying about the animals doing different things? Look, this one's like um, maybe hobby, you know, like baking, painting, crocheting, or knitting. And then this one's meditating. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This paper is so darling. I love it. All right, so this piece of the scallops it says three and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then this piece is cut at two 
by five and three eighths. That's going to go on your panel, right? Two by five and three eighths. Yep, and three and three and three quarter. Yep. So this is going to go on the front of your flap over here. Making sure your scallops are going in the right direction. Either this way or this way. I like them this way. But you do you, right? Okay, that's going to go on there. And then, oh, this is kind of going crooked here. Oh, wait, I want to flip this around. I'm going to do it long ways. <gasps> Can I change it? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Stamp surgery. Can I do it? If you do it fast enough, you can grab it. Ooh. Yes! I did it! All right, so remember me saying you wanted to go in the same direction. This is the way I want it to go. Don't do what I just did because this will, well, unless you want it like that, this is going vertical and then I was going to go horizontal. But I'm going to make them both horizontal. All right, let's do that again. Don't you love live? Yay. All right. Let's do this again. We're going to put this on vertical. And this is three and three quarter by three and three quarter. So it doesn't matter. You can turn it because this is four by four. So just make sure you're doing what side or version you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Then you're going to take your two by three five and three eighths piece and you're going to put that on your panel over here on this outside panel here on the left side right now it's coming together right isn't that cute oh i got low battery i gotta plug in my external battery just give me one second i gotta unplug my phone it might be a little clunky clunk sorry so yeah, is that bad? Plug in my my external battery now. All right, we're charging 10%. Whew. All right. Then we're going to stamp our happy birthday in this one too, like we did the last card. So we're going to take our Memento ink. Happy birthday to you. And then we're going to stamp the musical notes again. So he's singing it. Right. You can also stamp another animal in here, but I didn't do it for this card. I'm going to put this on the inside of our card. And then that's going to cover up this, um, this section right here where we attached our flap. It's going to camouflage that. So you won't even see it in there. Okay. There. See, you don't even see that flap there. Right there. So when it folds over, you can actually do it probably from the back too, but then you'll see it. That way the white covers it up, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and stamp our greeting on this. This is your largest square from the Stylish Shapes, from this again. The largest square that will be in your kit, already die cut in the basic white. And we're gonna stamp what does this one say? Oh yeah, someone great to celebrate you. And you're gonna stamp this right up towards the top of your square, right about there. And then you're gonna stamp on your scrap. There should be a scrap piece of basic white in your kit, which I don't know if we ended up at, I gotta make sure we double check that. But there should be a scrap piece of basic white to stamp your alligator. And then color him. Let me show you the colors I use for him. I use the Lemon Lime Twist for the alligator. And then I use the Crumb Cake combo for the bicycle in his basket. <laughs> he cracked me up on that. He's like, wee. And then I use the, the Smoky Slate for the tires of his bicycle. And then for the flowers, I use the Tahitian Tide the bubble bath, and then I did use the, is this daffodil? Yeah, daffodil dark for the three little blossoms in his basket. Isn't he cute? 
<sighs> I don't think I've ever seen a really seriously cute alligator in real life, but man, this little cartoony character is really cute. I love it. All right, so we're going to pop him up on dimensionals. And then before we put him down, though, I'm going to add my little shadow. And this is optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But I'm going to show you how I did it. I think three is good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to position him where we want it. Not permanently yet, right? And then we're going to take our smoky slate light and kind of like, I'm just going to like lift it up, kind of like scribble it under here. It doesn't look very good. And then I'm just going to go long and narrow here for the tail. <laughs> that looks so cute. Look, like he's really riding a bicycle here. Let me go up a little bit more. There's no right or wrong. But you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. I just thought it was cute. Just adds a little bit more personality. All right, and then we're going to put him on there now with dimensionals. Making sure you don't hit that greeting up top. Okay. So there he is, bicycling along the bicycle path. Wouldn't you just like totally freak out if you've seen an alligator on a bicycle? <laughs> really? That's what's great about card making. You can make the unreal real, right? Make believe. Okay, so then this is your le lemon lime twist. This is cut at three by three. This will be in your kit as well. And this is just a layer for your little square. Okay, and then more dimensionals. That's gonna go on the front of your card. On your four by four square right here. That's it, ta-da! <laughs> Isn't he cute? And that's the inside happy birthday to you. And of course you can stamp another alligator there if you want. Or maybe the raccoon with the balloons and color the balloons in with the, the lemon lime twist. Did I say lemon lime twist or lucky limeade? I think I said le lemon lime twist, right? Okay, so there's that one. And then let me show the original. Here's the original. Or I say the original because that's the first one I made, right? Such a cute card. So there's your fun fold card for card number three for your birthday card. Using the cute little alligator. All right, let me clean up. And we'll do the glitter giveaway. And I do have some happy mail with you guys, so I can share that with you guys. So don't go nowhere. Also, you guys that got the newsletter, there was the write-up about the retreat. Remember to keep that in mind if you guys are wanting to attend my annual retreat. That is possibly, it's not for sure 100% yet, but I will let you guys know 100% closer to September if there is space or if space opens up. For anybody else to attend because it's really for my team we have held this retreat at my home for the last nine years and my girls have been coming to the house for the weekend you guys probably seen it over the years right you guys have seen it but now we're doing it at a hotel and then um, so it's, it's gonna be quite different for my team this year but I don't know. Depends on how much space we have. If there's like a lot of space, because it's a banquet hall that we're renting, you know. So it's got a lot, a lot of extra space. So depending on how my team comes through and signs up for the retreat, we'll determine if there's a lot of space that is open. But if you're serious, if you live close to me, I live in Waterford, Michigan. The hotel is actually in Lake Orion slash Auburn Hills slash Clarkston maybe. Um, but there is a registration fee and you'll be staying at the hotel. And it's for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then you'd be leaving on Sunday. And the event is actually October 5th, October 6th, and October 7th. 
and it's just a really great time just hanging out with fellow crafters paper crafters um, stamping crafting playing games getting to know people doing make and takes doing a shoebox swap prize patrol all that kind of stuff it's a lot of stuff happening so if that interests you and you want to come and you live locally or you're willing to drive in I wouldn't say drive in from California but hey, Patricia, Nicole, if you guys want to fly in, my husband's working at the airport. He can pick you up. <laughs> Just saying. We'll make it, we'll make it do, right? So, um, yeah, so if you guys are interested, just let me know. There's time. So I'm just putting out the feelers right now to let you guys know, to give you guys a heads up that that will be an option maybe in the near future. But my team has got to be the first ones to come and fill it up if they want to, you know, because it's really uh, an event that I do for them. But we're expanding. We're getting bigger. So, all right, you guys want to do some happy mail and then we'll do the glitter spinner or do you want to do the glitter spinner? I'm going to, um, let's do the happy mail. I got that right here. I got a lot too. Ooh. All right. And then we got the Hippus Tippos to give away to the bundle. We're paying that forward from Kathy last week. And then I also have another goodie to give you guys, all right? All right, so let's do some happy mail. All right, let's see what everybody's saying. I am interested for another month, so hope this is a success so you will have more. Thank you, Gladys. Yeah, so this is my ninth year with my team doing it at the house. So um, we just feel like, we, me and my team, we've actually been discussing it over the years about making it bigger and having more people to come because at my home, I could probably have at least six people come and sleep comfortably so the idea was that if they could get to the house, then, you know, there's no charge for a hotel or anything. But now I feel like it's time we're going to expand it and open it to more people on my team. So, but there is a cost involved just because of, you know, the, the cost of the banquet room and then the hotel room and stuff. So, um... But that, that's the plan. That's the plan in October. And we usually have the event in August. But since we are having it at a hotel, who would have thought? Weddings and um, stuff is very popular August and September. So we got pushed from August. The third week in August is what the event year was. Every year for the last nine years was the third week in August. We would have it at the house. But now with it having at the hotel... We're more accommodating for them when they're available to have us. So that's why it's in October. But the good thing is, is that the holiday catalog will be live then too. So I've already got presentations set up too for the ladies. So they'll be doing little presentations with new stuff from the, from the mini catalog as well. I'm telling you, it's a jam-packed three days that you'll have a lot of fun. Meet your friends, right? All right, so let me show you some happy mail. Ooh, all right. This card is so beautiful. Look at them flowers. And this is from Holly. I believe that was from Holly. Yep, Holly. It says, thank you for the wonderful host code gifts. But thanks so much for your week weekly classes. You do an amazing job. I always learn so much. Appreciate all you do. Thank you, Holly. Your card is beautiful love it and then this card is from our very own d slater she's on my team she's a glitter queen she did this iso card isn't that awesome let me set it up straight so it's not wobbly but isn't that cute oh wait here so cute d cash in some vouchers i got them yesterday and i placed her order today but thank you d for the beautiful card love it and then this card is from another glitter queen from pat Look at that fun fold. Isn't that awesome? Ooh, I see this in your future. <laughs> she sent me the template too. Thank you, Pat. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Pat. And then this beautiful card is also from a glitter queen, Sheila. She cashed in some vouchers too, but look at this card, will you? Oh my 
gosh. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a fan. I love it. It says thank you on the fan. <coughs> Excuse me. Sheila, this card is gorgeous. Thank you so much. And it's a big card too. It's gorgeous. So this card is for my DDM. Her name is Shannon or Shannon West. She's married now, but I'm sure she kept her name. But she sent me this card. We met with her, um, I think it was like, I don't know, almost two months ago now for lunch. And then we had tacos. She is in Salt Lake City, actually. And she was here for an event. <coughs> but she had texted me and said, hey, you want to meet for lunch? And I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm going. So we met up for lunch and we started talking about health stuff. You guys know how I am about my health stuff, about um, the sugar, the carnivore, the... We talked about everything, but Sharon, Shannon is on the same health kick. So we had lots to talk about for lunch. So she had sent me this beautiful card thanking me for lunch. And then she also sent me her special salt that she uses. And it's delicious, I might add. But she sent me this really beautiful card. So thank you, Shannon. And then this card is from Joanne. Did I show you guys this card? Or maybe I showed my team. This card is from Joanne. She lives in Hawaii. But isn't her handwriting beautiful? She writes like my Jesse. She write you write so beautiful, Joanne. I love it. Such beautiful penmanship. And she's thanking me for the early bird glitter giveaway. Hope you had a fantastic time on your trip to Norway. Thank you, Joanne. And then this card is from Sue. Is Sue here today? Hi, Sue. I got your beautiful card. Thank you. It looks like a crate, doesn't it? And this is from Sue. And it says, welcome home from your trip. Thank you, Sue. We had an amazing trip, too, I might add. It was a lot of fun. But, you know, as much fun as it is to get away, it's always fun to come home and get back to our life, you know? All right, so let's do a couple glitter giveaways. Let me get my iPad over here. Let me get my drink out of the way before I spill it. All right. Let me get my spinner. All right, so we're going to give away the Hippest Hippos. Remember, if you don't want this bundle, I won't be offended. All you have to do is just either tell me live so we can pay it forward right now. Or you can still get it and pay it forward to somebody else that you know that might like it. You know, so either way, don't feel like I will be offended. It's totally cool. I get it. Because this stamp set was a celebration stamp set. But the dies, I think the dies were available too, but separately, right? So, but you're getting the bundle. The stamp set and the dies. And then I also have the Genial Gems. These are pretty too. Okay, so let's do the stamp set first. Spinning, spinning. Spinning, spinning. Thank you, everybody, for the hearts. Vicky! Vicky, Vicky. Vicky, then where's my post-it notes? So there. All right, Vicki, I'm going to put you down for the hippest hippos, all right? I think I got your address, too. E-A-K-I-N-S. Hippos. If by chance you want or you don't want this stamp set or bundle, leave it in the comment. Or you can email me privately, and we can pay it forward next week. Or maybe I'll save it for another glitter giveaway another week, all right? Yay, Vicki! <clears throat> All right. Okay, so we got Vicky won the Hippos Hippos. Let's do the Genial Gems. Let me put this on here. Gems. Let's spin it. And she said, wow. <laughs> wowzy, wowzy. All right. Okay, right here. Tia! Tia, sounds like fun. Tia, I don't know your last name, but you see your name on the screen, right? Email me here. <clears throat> Dawn at the glitter pit.com. Email me here, Tia, and give me your address, all right? This is your physical street address. 
and I will get these gems sent out to you as soon as possible. If I don't hear from you within a couple weeks, I'll pay it forward. Just know that you can message me. It's probably easier to email me here at Dawn at the Glitter Pit because I have been known not to get the messages on Facebook. Sometimes I don't check my Facebook as much as I should. So if you email me, it's much better. But sometimes that goes to junk too. So I usually check my other folder and then my junk folder. But if I don't hear from you in a couple weeks, I'll pay it forward, all right? So just email me your address, Tia. And I'll get these sent out to you as soon as I hear back from you.